Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to start on page 110, and we're continuing to look at direct objects. We're going to begin by analyzing some sentences. So here, we'll do this one together. Fritz should not have stirred the thick batter alone. So on this one, with it, what is the action that is taking place? The action that's taking place is what? Stirred. That's my predicate verb. And before I get too far ahead of myself, I should have noticed what? That's my predicate verb, but I have a helping verb. What's my helping verb? Have. Helping verb. And so together, they form my verb phrase. I double underline both of those. Now, who, um, who stirred, but actually we have a, a negative here, so we'll deal with that later, but who does this action, or in this case, did not do this action? And it is Fritz. That's our subject. Now, in this sentence, is there something that did not receive the action? So it's a little bit different than what we've seen so far. Normally, we think of direct objects as receiving the action of the verb, but here we're being told that it's not receiving the action of the verb, right? But is there something that is the object? And it is the batter. Batter is the direct object, okay? In this case, it's not receiving it because we have a negative adverb there. All right, now, alone. Does that tell us what kind, which one, how many, or whose? Mm -mm. Nope, alone tells us how something is done. Therefore, it's an adverb. And what do adverbs modify? They modify, modify verbs, adjectives, or another adverb, but in this case, it's gonna modify the verb stirred. So we're doing a nice straight line down, straight line over, and straight line up. And we're gonna label it as an adverb. Next, we have thick. What is thick? This is telling us uh, what kind, which one, how many, or whose. Um, it's telling us probably what kind, like what kind of batter, right? Batter is thick. So we're gonna put a line down, over and up, and it's modifying batter. Adjective. It's telling us what kind of batter. Probably like for pancakes, okay? And then we have the word the, the is an article adjective, so we already know it's an adjective, and it's usually going to modify the noun that's closest to us, closest to it, rather, which is batter. So we'll draw it over, and it's an adjective. We've dealt with these two words. Now we have not, right? So remember, not is a special kind of adverb. We think of it as the negative adverb, but it negates or is the opposite of what we we're talking about. So in this case, Fritz didn't stir it, right? We're going to come over and up, and it is an adverb. All right, ah, but now we have the word should. Maybe I should have recognized this before, but what kind of word is should? Should is a helping verb. And it's gonna be double underlined, right? Uh, we don't continue the double underlining because not interrupts it. Uh, but here we have three words coming together to form the verb phrase. Verb phrase, should have stirred, right? And so here, Fritz should not have stirred the thick batter, which may mean that he did do it, but that he should not have, right? So it seems actually that he did stir it. Okay, when we read this now all together, Fritz should not have stirred. It probably means that he did stir it, but was not supposed to. But anyways, all right. So let's go on to letter B, right? So letter B, you're gonna do this one on your own and then come back and we'll look at it together. Let's go ahead and pause the video and do letter B. All right, so hopefully you're able to finish that one. So let's look at this one together. The youngster wanted blueberry pancakes. What's the verb? The verb is wanted. Ready, good verb. Who did the wanting? Who wanted something? The youngster, that's my subject. What did the youngster want? Is there anything in this sentence that he wanted? Yeah. He wanted pancakes, direct object. Now we have blueberry. What is blueberry describing? Is it telling us how, when, or where, or what kind, which one, how many, or whose? It's telling us what kind, right? So it's an adjective. It's telling us what kind of pancakes. And so that's an adjective. And I do enjoy blueberry pancakes myself. Now we have the word youngster. 
youngster is what? Or it's not youngster, the word the, what kind of word is the? It's an article adjective. And it's gonna modify the noun closest to it. So we have an adjective. All right. Now, same thing, we're gonna pause the video and you're going to do letter C. Come back when you're ready. Go ahead and pause the video now. All right, so let's look at letter C. Fritz will now use the electric mixer. Right, so what uh, word um, is the action here? And the action here is the word use. Okay, that's a pretty good verb. Who um, will use something? And it is Fritz. He is the subject. Now there is a helping verb here. What's the helping verb? The helping verb is will. But now is not a helping verb, and that's why they're not connected. So they are verb phrase, but they're sort of being broken up by this word. Now, what will Fr uh, Fritz use? He will use a mixer. So this sentence does have a direct object. So that means this is, all of these have been transitive verbs. These are all declarative sentences as well. They're just making statements. So now electric. What is electric doing? It's not a noun, but it's describing the mixer, right? It's telling us what kind of mixer. It's not just a hand mixer, it's an electric mixer. So we're gonna label that as an adjective. And the is what? It's an adjective, and it's gonna modify the noun closest to it. Right? Now we come to the word now. Now tells us what? Now tells us when something is gonna happen. What kind of words tell us when? Adverbs. And so this adverb is modifying use. A, D, V, and that is it. All right, very good. All right, so that's all we're doing together. Now it's time for independent work. For your independent work, what you're going to do is you're going to do letter D, right? So letter D you will do on your own for independent work. Now, we're not done with the lesson, but we're done with analyzing. So this one is for you to do yourself. Now let's look at number two. So what have our verbs, or what, sorry, what have our nouns been, right? So we know any subject or any object is a noun. So which is a noun here? We have Fritz. We have batter. And this isn't like a person, this is like pancake batter, okay? Here we have youngster. And we have pancakes. Here we have Fritz again. And we have mixer. Now, what are the nouns in this sentence? And this will help you identify your subject and your um, direct object. So here we have Rex, right? So this is a person, although I think in this story, Rex is actually a um, dog. Uh, in the stories that we looked at, Rex is a dog, which is hopefully the case since he licked the sticky floor. Right? Hopefully that's not a person. Um, but what is the other noun? Yeah, it's floor, right? Floor is a thing. All right, very good. All right, next, let's look at page 111. So here we're trying to identify whether or not a, a verb is transitive, which means that it has a direct object, or intransitive no direct object, right? So, an inventor once watched a baker, right? So here, what is the verb? The verb here is watched, okay? Who or what did the watching? The inventor. And did the inventor watch somebody? Yes, he watched a baker, therefore, it is a transitive. So you go through now and do B, C, D, and E, and then we'll come back and review it together.
Go ahead and pause the video now. All right, so let's look at these together. The clever man watched closely. All right, what's the verb? Watched, the verb. What did the watching? The man, the subject. Now, do we know what the man watched? We do not know what the man watched. And therefore, it is intransitive. Next, the baker was stirring quickly. Do we know the predicate verb? We do. Stirring. Who was during the stirring? The baker. Now, do we know what the baker was stirring? It doesn't tell us. It just tells us that he was stirring quickly, but it doesn't tell us what he was stirring. Therefore, it is intransitive. Next, the inventor was stirring an idea. Okay, so what is the um, verb? Stirring here again, like a verb. Who or what was stirring? The inventor. That's our subject. Now, do we know what the inventor was stirring? In this case, we know what he was stirring, right? He was stirring an idea. Okay, we can circle up here bigger. Okay, he was stirring an idea. And that means it is transitive. Right? Because here, remember, nouns can be persons, places, things, or ideas. Right? And lastly, later, this man designed the first mixer. Right? So what is our uh, verb here? Designed. Who or what did the designing? The man did the designing. Do we know what he designed? Yeah, he designed a mixer. And therefore, this is a transitive verb. All right. So now, on page 111, we have number four and five. And that'll be the independent work along with letter D on page 110. All right. Well, that's the end. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the end of our lesson for today. I hope you have a terrific day and look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.